Good morning. We're playing Noise with Wildside and Pawn Shop, and our opponent is playing Stronger Together. Rawr. Um, this is not the worst hand, but I don't think I want it as much as this hand. Okay. So this deck isn't great, but it can do well against slower decks. So wild side has time to really give value. I'm trying to find a deck to use my alternate art wild sides in. So we'll see if this one works. Uh, for influence, we've got two pawn shops, two clone ships, uh, three Gorman drip. A special order and a Sahazara. So kind of a variety of things, but mainly we want to be able to sell spare viruses and use the clone chips to parasite spam him. Parasite spam is pretty good in any faction. So the plan is going to be data sucker and dirty laundry somewhere. And put the wild side down, and I imagine get a dollar. I was thinking a long time about this. Did he mulligan? He did mulligan. No, he did not. I mulliganed. Right. So he kept his opening hand, he's just not playing. Maybe the phone rang or something. I'll talk a little more about what's in this deck. We have Lamprey, which is the new card from Upstock. It's a one cost virus, and whenever I run HQ successfully, they lose a dollar. So, I mean, a one cost virus is already pretty good. It's almost like accessing a card for one dollar if Archives isn't locked up too badly. Alrighty. Already feeling the lack of dollar from HP and during the future. Like, if this ID was the only ID, you could probably still play HP decently, like the current archetypes. But the other one is just so much better. It's money all day. Okay. Not really sure what that is. It's very possible it's like an agenda he's trying to push it out before I get any breakers online. I will not be taking that bait. see beta test oh glorious I'm gonna peek in again then hedge fund that's quite nice for him put the wild side down turn one start things rolling my goal is to never have to actually draw, except for these wild side cards. Kind of keep the economy in a state where you can play about two cards a turn. So it seems maybe like one of those is Jackson. He's kind of stashing it um, until I mill something good. I think I just go to town in R&D. Like if he's not going to ice it, then this is definitely happening.
could have installed this, but it might be a snare. I have no idea what he's running yet. Mandatory upgrades. Wow. So those could be mandatory upgrades in there. Mandatory upgrades again. This guy's getting ripped. But that's what he gets for not icing R&D. Like this turn he has to ice R&D. No question. Oh, that he do that. That seems pretty weak to me. I can just run four times in that, or three times rather. Do I want or do I want to get money? I don't want to run here. Next turn I can click click dirty laundry. Some ash, okay that's fine. Ash Viper. Third time's a charm. I mean, this probably won't hit since. Um, already taken three out of them and Victor. So Ash, Viper, and Victor. Viper is kind of tough for us. So if we don't have our Yog yet. This is really strange out here. I don't have a good guess about what those actually are at this stage. Okay, now he's icing up centrals, which he should have done a long time ago. Will he also ice archives is the question. No, he's going to put the ash down on top of something good in there. Lamprey, Grimoire, okay. Not that eager to face check a rotor turret. I mean, there's a good chance it's a buy road. I, I could just see two fresh cards. But I might play it safe this turn and get my money back in order and check out my two mills. I'm going to play this before I'm not before. Um, he ices archives, and I'm not guaranteed to succeed. Yeah, nothing in there as I thought. Throw something away. Um, definitely want these. The Grimoires I'm going to need pretty soon. The Lamprey, the Sucker. Pitch the Lamprey. It's not super exciting right now. So what did go in his archives? Wall of Thorns and Red Herrings. Ooh. <coughs> okay. Ash and Red Herrings is pretty decent. He's got the Viper and now he's purging. Okay. I'm just gonna set my money up, I think, this turn. I could have pushed into there, but I really would like to get the mimic going. These are just great for 
this kind of wild side deck where you have very limited clicks. One click and you eventually get five bucks of profit. It's nice. It's hard to say how good these will even be, where his, his buy are going to be stronger than normal. We don't want, know much about his ice composition yet. We saw a viper, a wall of thorns, or sorry, a wall of static. <coughs> what is in here? Matt, that is gotta be mandatory upgrades. No? I'll beta test. Yeah, that's fine. So this is another ash, I'd say. Could be red herrings, but more likely an ash. Oh, he tries the beta test and dumps three cards into the archives. Well, that's just a kick in the teeth. I usually wouldn't try the beta test in that kind of scenario. So I could do Saha, Data Sucker for free, Laundry. I like that. Add one more mill in there, and then I can still get value from this. Check out those three cards. I might just win here, but I'm prepared to not win if that happens. Well, what did we get? False lead, and that does it. So yeah, stronger together was a blank ID. He would have had at least four more dollars if he played during the future. And I would have just clicked through his bioroids anyway, didn't play any breakers. What, what did we see here? We saw Ichi, Ichi, Zed, and Heimdall. Yeah, I would have clicked, clicked through all of those, and it wouldn't really have mattered that they were plus one strength. Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching.